Invoice number B6412. Today is December 18th, 2020. We are video inspecting the family room fireplace located on the second floor. It appears to be a Looks like a 13 by th 13 flue at the top, which then transitions into what appears to be a 13 by 18. And you can see where they stepped this flue down in order to make the, that transfer over to the 13 by 13 section. Appears that a 13 by 13 top mount damper was installed as well. It also looks like we do have some moisture intrusion on the interior of this flue. This reduction in size can hinder performance and definitely affect the draft. We do have a gap, you're missing mortar. More mortar missing in between the tile to tile. And again, we are about 16 feet, 17 feet tall. You have a stagger. You also have a gap just beyond that stagger. Again, more water intrusion. More mortar missing, cement from the joints. You can see how it starts, tends to cast a shadow. More gaps. Another pretty large gap in the corner. All the mortar is missing. More mortar missing. You see a chunk of tile missing as well right there. Now we are entering the smoke chamber. The smoke chamber in itself does have creosote present. The smoke chamber is unparched. We do have a gap right where the chamber and the tile meet. In this smoke chamber there is creosote present. We do recommend a rotary cleaning be performed on this smoke chamber along with a chamber foam application be applied. The flue in itself should have a heat shield joint repair and application applied. However, due to the change in size, the downsizing, issues will technically still be present within this structure. Top of flue tile should be removed correct flue size should be installed. Another option would be to do a liner insulated for a wood burning insert. Creosote must be removed, all issues must be resolved prior to relining. That concludes the video inspection for today. Back of firebox also does have some cracks, missing mortar issues, things of that nature. 
That concludes the video inspection. Defects are observed.